It's great to look back and it's great to see the humbleness, but it is so imperative that we just remember the beginning and then follow it up for what the purpose of the beginning was for. And so sometimes, you know, at Christmas, we just get this real gentle feeling and, and the it's all sweet and all that, but you got to remember Jesus came as a baby, but he came for a purpose, and let's not leave anything on the table. You know, I'm, I'm not one of these that tells my kids or grandkids anymore that you got to eat your whole plate, because I've, I've been eating my whole plate, and it doesn't work very good, you know, it's like, but when it comes to what Jesus came to do, we need to eat the whole plate. We need, as Jody said, we, it's up to us to receive. So I'm going to ask Chad to come so that I don't comment on all the scriptures like I do and have him read a series of scriptures for us and listen carefully. And I know it's maybe not your typical Christmas, but it hasn't been a typical year, all right? So we're going to close. Uh, I want you to really listen careful to what he's reading. Okay, the first one's from Matthew chapter 1. The shaking, is that, is that right? Okay, skip, just do Philippians? Okay, so the first one's from Philippians chapter one. In no way alarmed by your opponents, which is a sign of destruction for them, but of salvation for you, and that too from God. This one's from 2 Corinthians 10, four. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but divinely powerful for the destruction of fortresses. 1 Thessalonians 5, 3 through 6. While they are saying peace and safety, then destruction will come upon them, suddenly like labor pains upon a woman with child, and they will not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, that the day would overtake you like a thief. For you are all sons of light and sons of day. We are not of night nor of darkness. So then let us not sleep as others do, but let us be alert and sober. 1 Thessalonians 5, 9 through 11. For God has not destined us for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we will live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build up one another, just as you also are doing. Hebrews 10, 39. But we are not of those who shrink back to destruction, but of those who have faith to the preserving of the soul. Luke 9, 56, for the Son of Man did not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them, and they went on to another village. And 1 John 3, 8, the one who practices sin is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. The Son of God appeared for this purpose, to destroy the works of the devil. Yep. Interesting scriptures, huh? I had a word for you last week, and some of you have texted me and, and uh, or talked to me. But John uh, Paul Young, who wrote The Shack, had a word for 2020 that it would be a year of ripples, and we have seen ripple after ripple after ripple of things hitting the pond and, and causing ripples all throughout the whole world. And I sat in my hot tub the other day, and I just said, Lord, what's the word for 2021? And he said, tsunamis. And uh, some of you have been saying, what does that mean? And I, I'm, I, I'm going to try to share with you what the Lord has given to me. I was talking to several leaders this week. It's been a phenomenal week. I will tell you that, that there's just been so much uh, communication. There have been so many miracles that are taking place. Uh, but there's also been a, I believe, a real release uh, the, Just like Satan came, you know, was there to destroy Jesus, I believe he has been on the earth, he has been doing evil, he's been working through evil people for a long time. And there have been his plans and strategies been at work from the time of Christ till now. He never, he just stays at his, what he does to steal, kill, and destroy but I really do believe that he made a major move. He and, and those that uh, serve him made a major move that's been in the plan for a long time. And it, it wasn't just happened, but it, 
it was coming to a climax, and it is right now at a major climax of him making his move to dominate the world and to destroy it and destroy mankind. And <clears throat> so literally there's been uh, like, uh, uh, forgive me, but I, I don't know how to say this other, but like a major release. This last week I heard of two cases of people right here close near us who have demonic activity. That they've never seen demonic activity in their family. They never even believed in it. And they've had demons manifesting, right? And I've been getting a few phone calls. I mean, I have just saying, help, what do we do? And I just say, man, it's not that, that I haven't seen that for quite a while. To say this, I'm just saying that I was talking to Jerry Wilson, and he just uh, showed him, I just shared with him about the tsunami thing. And he said, John, that's incredible. He says, you know what, what tsunamis happen when there's a major earthquake out in the ocean. And then the effects of that come suddenly to the, to the earth. I mean, when we saw that tsunami in Thailand, I was just blown away. How fast it comes, how destructive it is, how quick it is. And how powerful it is. Massive waves of 100, 200 feet waves. Is just That blows my mind of the power of how much is moving through that water. But it all started way out there in the ocean in the dark where nobody sees. And there has been stirring and there's been trouble going on from the time of Christ till now. And yet I believe there's been uh, Satan made his move to make major earthquake moves in the dark. And now we're going to see the results of that. And so in some ways you can say, well, if you thought 2020 was tough, we ought to see what happens now with the results coming, the tsunamis. But here is, here's the truth that you want to grab a hold of. When Haman decided to wipe out the Jews, he got permission from the king to do that. He got permission from the king to say that Anybody, anywhere could kill a Jew, and it was legal. And he got that through, through deception. But when the day came, Esther was able to minister to the king. He couldn't refute the law, so he passed another law that just said the Jews could defend themselves. And so when the day came, the Jews were not wiped out, but Haman, who had built gallows for Mordecai, was hung in his own gallows. And right now, there has been, you know, I, I think most of you are aware of it, some of you might not be, but we're, we're seeing one of the most powerful times or historic times, but I don't know what you want to call it, since the resurrection of Christ right now on the earth. This is, this is not just a glitch in the, in, and not just a tough year. This is a major effort of evil to destroy mankind. And God's flipping it. Just like he always has. Hallelujah. We were not destined. He didn't die and he didn't come. He came for what purpose? As the first John says, he came here to destroy the works of the devil. That was the purpose. It's not just so we could sing nice little songs and uh, shake bells and uh, go on sleigh rides. And all oh, that's really wonderful, isn't it? But the real reality of Christmas right now is that he came that we might destroy the works of the devil, that the Holy Spirit working with us might put every enemy underneath our footstool. That's what's happening. And right now, we're just about, I think, I may be wrong, who knows, but I think we're within days of beginning to see those first great walls coming out of the ocean, hitting the earth. And they were meant to destroy mankind, but God and us are going to execute the will of God on the earth, and we're going to destroy evil. Hallelujah. So uh, we need, as these scriptures say, we need to be alert. We need to be sober. Uh, we need to lift our heads up. We need to be in hope. We need to absolutely not shrink back in any type of fear. You know, I was sharing with a gal, and, and she was going to go to deliver 
a relative from demonic activity. And I said, the one thing you need to remember is that you have authority. And he, the demon, may talk to you, may negotiate with you, may threaten you, may put, do physical things. And you just need to absolutely, without any question in your heart, know you have the authority. They have not, and they have to listen to you. And there's just no negotiation with them. I said, you got that? She said, I got it. Man, I tell you, I was just like, yeah! Because you don't want to go up against the devil thinking that he might be able to whoop you. Because that's his deception. And he cannot. Jesus has whooped him. And we have, in, what is Christmas all about? Christmas is about Emmanuel, God with us. Those are powerful words. Don't look at them as just some, you know, sweet song or something. It literally means God is with us. Now, if I'm with a billionaire, I've been with some millionaires, a couple billionaires in my lifetime. And frankly, sometimes I ended up paying for the meal. I, 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 in fact, quite often, I find myself with very wealthy people and I'm the generous one. In fact, I've had very little come my way. But when it says that God is with us, he is not like that. When it says God is with us, we not only have his bank account, we not only have his credit card, we have his wisdom. We have his understanding. We have his power. We have everything. The Bible says he didn't withhold Jesus. He's not withholding one thing. It's not like we got this friend that's kind of wealthy that we feel good about, but we're still the one paying the bills. We have this friend that's come alongside and said, I'm with you, and you got everything I got. You have access to all that I have. Execute it. Use it. Spend it. And so what's Christmas this year? I'm telling you, do not... Eat the whole thing. Accept the whole thing. Receive the whole thing. Who, who, God is with us. He's your healer. Take every bit of healing. Hallelujah. He's got for you. He's your savior. Get every bit of salvation. That means to be protected from problems. It means to be uh, free from mental stress and emotional discouragement. It means to be that you're literally delivered from any type of tragedy. That word zozo, it covers just everything. It means you're prosperous. It doesn't mean you just get delivered out of trouble. It means you get delivered into abundance. And he is our Savior. Amen? So Christmas is about us receiving the gift of salvation in every area of our life. Glory to God. He's our provider. He's El Shaddai. He's Jehovah Jireh. He's more than enough in every situation. And he is our master. He's our leader. And he's blowing the trumpet, so to speak, right now, saying, let's go, boys. He, the enemy made their big move. This is our time, children. It pleases me to give you the kingdom. And let you flip this whole thing on his head. Glory to God. He's always done it. This is a major, major time for the whole universe. Glory to God. And so I encourage you, man, this is not a time to say, oh my, what's going to happen? We know what's going to happen. We know the evil's making their move. And we know that the righteous are rising up. Glory to God. And you do need to be alert because when those waves hit, you do not want to get under them. You want to get on top. And so I encourage you to get in shape spiritually. Buckle down. Get in shape physically. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've lost some weight. I'm losing some more. It's not just losing weight to look good. I'm getting, I'm exercising. I'm working out. I plan, I'm going to be so stinking busy. I got to get my mind sharp. I got to get my heart right. And I'm living in peace and I'm living in joy because I know this is our time. <laughs> and I don't know if you've been afraid. I pray today that you just say, what? What's going on? Are you crazy? Yeah, I'm crazy. Everybody's crazy. But we are the children of God. And we win. Praise God. Glory to God. Somebody go get it. tell Lisa we're ready. Hallelujah. That's a remarkable miracle that I've seen this year. I'm done in about 10 minutes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Would you stand with me, please, though, as we just close out this part of the service?
There's just every reason in the world right now to get happy. And I know we're going to see some stuff. We're going to see uh, some, some nasty stuff. Okay? But uh, the good is just that's going to come. The awakening is going to come. The amount of people that are going to turn to Jesus right now is just astronomical. The amount of people, and listen, your part, we've been sharing this all year, your part is so critical. Do not underestimate what you do know. Yeah, there's a lot you and I don't know, but don't take lightly what you do know. You know enough to get anybody into the kingdom of God. You know enough to get anybody free from anything that is attacking them. You, you know the master, and he will guide you like never before. This is a time to trust in your heart and just absolutely get ruthless with it and, and drop every bit of doubt and hesitation and just say, I am a child of God. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. My name is written down and I rejoice and I dance every day because I am one of his children. Hallelujah. Forever. I will never die. I will live forever. But while I'm here on earth, I am here following the Holy Spirit, executing the will of God on the earth that needs to be done of putting every enemy underneath his footstool. And this is my time, and I'll be ready, and I'll trust in him that he'll give me the words I need to have and, and, the, and the love that I need for every person. We're going to see masses of people coming and needing to be saved in every area. And we're going to have everything we need to do that. Father, we give you praise and glory, and we thank you so much for Jesus coming in as a baby. Well, we thank you that he's not a baby anymore. But he's our head commander of the body of Christ. He's alive and well, and his spirit is executing his will on the earth. And now we thank you for our children, that they're going to be, they're going to, they are being raised up in the knowledge of God, and they're going to walk in the power of the Holy Spirit all the days of their life. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated.